Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to read r slash am I the asshole. My name is Tanya. You can call me Froggy. We're going to get ahead and get into this. The first post that we are going to read with update is am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend she ruined my night by insisting she come along. My girlfriend and I, both 20 female, have been dating her for a year. My girlfriend Jane and I have separated friend groups. Jane doesn't get along with my friends, yet insists she be is brought along to our nights out slash in. It's incredibly uncomfortable because, well, she's always a woman. These get-togethers are... No partners allowed parties. Plus, she doesn't get along with anyone, so it's super awkward. I was invited out to one of the of their parties, and Jane got upset that I'm going without her. I'll be gone from 10 a.m. Friday to afternoon on Saturday. She has no issue with both of us going out, but without her, it's an issue. I said I'd leave later and try to get back earlier, but she wouldn't have it either. I ended up bringing her along, and it was a nightmare. The mood was brought down, and no one really had fun, as all my friends seemed to be walking on eggshells around her. When we got back, she kept gloating about how much fun she had, but I felt the opposite. I said, well, I'm glad someone had fun. She got upset and asked what I meant. I explained that I, that it was a friend in, night in, and she wasn't invited. She got super set, upset and pulled some crap about how it's toxic that I want to have a night out without her. She says she's hurt that I, one, don't want her there, and two, that I said she ruined the night. I just want to spend some time with my friends. One-on-one, -on -one, am I the asshole? Edit to clarify. I mentioned Jane's gender because usually on posts like these, the no partner rule is because the partners are of opposite sex, so it's a safe place for people to talk. Guy's night or guy's girl's name. I brought up that she's a woman because all of my friends have male partners, but is a still no partner night despite the gender. I am female, Jane is female, I am bi, Jane is lesbian. All of my friends are females. At the birthday celebration, which is why it was over two days, they usually aren't that long. Okay, let's read the first update. So the majority vote was not the asshole, with a few you're the asshole votes sprinkled in. A lot of people were genuinely mad at me for being in this kind of relationship, which doesn't make sense. But what can you do? Another thing I want to address is a lot of people kept saying no means no and stick with it when you say no. I want to retreat that that does not work with Jane in these scenarios. She would have shown up no matter what or manipulated me into coming home or giving her the address. I got some good advice and usually used it to my best ability. I also feel I owe everyone an explanation as to why I was dating Jane. First, my parents were very toxic in a very toxic relationship all throughout my childhood. They despised each other, but refused to divorce or even move out for the benefit of the kids. Never a good idea. Clearly, that didn't work. Second, Jane's behavior wasn't always so toxic. But once she started to act how, many par how my parents did to each other, my dumb brain associated that with love. I know now that it's not the case, but Jane was my first real relationship. 
the first was a few months that ended with me being cheated on. I sat Jenny down and explained how I feel sad by the double standards between her friends and mine. I express that I have no idea why she poses, why she's so possessive and insists on coming to every party. Then she said something I was not prepared for. I can't trust that you won't go and fuck anyone else. Well, out because you're bisexual. She went on to explain that she finds many of my friends attractive and assumed I did too. So projecting her own attraction onto me and becoming jealous and possessive. She also said that there's a 50% extra chance you'll cheat on me because you swing both ways. I brought up some issues with how she conducts herself and she began crying and gaslighting me. Actually gaslighting. But I stood my ground as for why she was so possessive. In her own words, she just is. And because she loves me. I was shocked. I needed time to cool down and think. But I made the br decision to break up with Jane. I don't want any by hobia in my life. I told her as such, but she did not take it well. As I was calling one of my friends, I noticed all my cash from my purse, around 100 euros, was missing, along with my card that has since been sorted. She got very angry when I called her out and I left for my own safety. I'm currently staying at my friend's house. Jane didn't want to leave and I was getting, it was getting dicey, but I called the cops and they removed her, but I didn't feel safe being home alone after all that. I also apologized to my friend and said it, she said it was fine. She was just happy that I was out of this relationship. The friend is a ride or die as I am for her. I asked if she, my friend, would dump me as a friend if I continued to be with Jane. She said, absolutely not. What kind of asshole friend would I be who does that? So, yeah, sort of happy ending. Thanks to everyone who gave me good advice. Okay, so my reaction on to this story is literally, first of all, that's a very toxic relationship. I mean, from somebody who grew up in one of those years of therapy have helped um it is almost best just to leave it's never good to stay for the kids because in the end the kids are going to end up in more of a toxic relationship than when they grow up than if they literally just in the relationship if you're not happy, there's no reason to be in a relationship. And honestly, some of this, like, I can't trust you, won't go and be with your friends. How would I, I, that is so toxic. Like, how jealous can a person be? If you ain't got re trust in your relationship, you really don't need to be in that relationship. But I appreciate everybody coming and listening to me read. I hope you like this and I hope to continue to do more. Um, if you want me to do spooky stories or whatever, let me don't know down in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. Love you. Bye.